I told you humans could be walking around with chips implanted in their brains a decade ago, you probably would have thought I was insane, but that will soon be the reality. There have been some developments that suggest Elon Musk's Neuralink dream is even closer than we thought. Here are all the important stuff you need to know about the 2023 Neuralink update. Neuralink, what is it? In simple terms, Neuralink aims to develop an implantable brain-computer interface that could be used to read your thoughts. Don't be alarmed yet. It wouldn't be able to read your passwords or what you're planning to do with that money in your bank account. It is a chip that would be connected to your brains through ultra-fine wires to process and send neural signals to computers. According to Elon Musk, the Neuralink technology could be used to restore eyesight, heal paralysis, and even control a mobile phone. We will talk more about the benefits of the Neuralink in a minute. Stay with us! The chip, also known as the Link, would be a chargeable device that would be connected to the human brains by creating an opening in the skull. Does that mean you have to have a charger connected to the head to power up the chip? Let's find out more about the Neuralink chip. The chip. At the center of the whole Neuralink concept and technology is the microchip known as the Link V0.9. It is the latest version of the previous N1 chip that was connected to a visible inductive coil behind the ears. This 2019 version of the Link contained a Bluetooth radio and battery and was controlled through a phone app. The current Neuralink update, Link V0.9, which was unveiled on August 20th, 2020, is totally different from the previous version. It has been redesigned to the size of a coin having small dimensions of 23mm by 8mm, giving it the perfect size to be able to be implanted into the skull. It has 1,024 channels and a strong battery life that can be wirelessly charged within a range of 5 to 10 meters. According to Neuralink, the whole process of inserting the chip into the skull will be done by an automated surgical robot in less than an hour. Same way, it'll require only a few seconds to subscribe to our channel. Do so to join our great family so you don't miss out on any Neuralink news and anything Elon Musk. Let's pick it from where we left. Applications So why would you go to a hospital for part of your skull to be removed so a chip can be inserted into your brain? Is it worth it? Well, according to Elon Musk, the answer is yes, especially for visually impaired and paralyzed individuals. Musk believes the Neuralink chip would be able to restore sight of blind individuals, even those that have been blind from birth. This is a bold statement to make, but from the various innovations that Musk is championing, this goal wouldn't be impossible to reach. Again, it is believed the Neuralink would be able to allow paralyzed individuals to have control over their bodies once more. They would even be able to use their thoughts to control mobile phones better than someone controlling them with their hands. Another bold statement. These are the bright sides of the Neuralink technology. Could there be any limitations? We will find out in a minute. Applicable? The Neuralink chip has so far proved efficient without any side effects. For example, Neuralink has shown a video of a pig named Gertrude living with a Neuralink chip successfully inserted into its brain for over two months without any behavioral changes. According to Neuralink, there's also some other pigs living with two of the chips without side effects, proving that humans can as well have more than one Neuralink chip at the same time. Another video by the Tesla space shows a monkey with a Neuralink chip successfully connected to its brain playing a computer game by simply using its thoughts. These examples prove how progressive the Neuralink trials have been so far. Musk even believes there would be human trials in about six months. We'll have to wait to see how true that will be. Limitations The possible benefits of the technology is worth praising, but the method in getting the Neuralink chip ready is where the problem lies. According to several intern sources, the processes of trying the chip on animals were rushed and cruel, and as a result, has led to the death of about 15,000 animals or more. This could be linked to the competition and profit motives behind getting the chip ready for our human use as soon as possible. Another limitation of the Neuralink is the method of insertion. Although Elon Musk believes the process will not be painful, the mere thought of opening up the skull for an insertion could make one change his mind. The chip itself is a downside. What if it runs out of battery and you have no charger with you? Does it mean the blind user will become blind again? Or the paralyzed user, depending on the chip for movements, would become paralyzed again? Lastly, the device could be hacked. What do you think would happen in such a situation? Let us know in the comments section below. Despite Elon stating in a recent interview that, we want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device into a human. Many still believe the Neuralink is dangerous. We explain the Neuralink human trial in the next video. Do well to watch it. See you next time. Bye.